All right, get me Jay Williams over here from ESPN Radio because we opened the show this morning, Jay Will, with Kyrie Irving again. He scored 60 points last night. He did it every imaginable way against Orlando. It was a master class by the most skilled player in the game of basketball. I said that, by the way. A master class by the most skilled player in the game of basketball today in number 11, Kyrie Irving. It was 41 in the first half, and then on to the fourth year. You're going to see him. He's at 55 on his way to 60. Most skilled player today. It almost feels like that's not even debatable. There's so much debate about Kyrie Irving. It feels like his talent is the only thing that there's no purpose talking about. Well, then if you want to get into who's the most second skilled player in the game of basketball, you can make an argument. Is that either LeBron James or Kevin Durant? And KD, who's in the argument, is on his team. Oh, by the way, they scored 150 points as a team last night, and so this is consecutive games in which the Nets have had a 50-point score. KD did it at home against the Knicks on Sunday with 53, and then last night Kyrie going to 60. What are we starting to see in this Brooklyn team as we go down the stretch? Oh, I don't know what we're starting to see. It depends if Kyrie can play all his games or not. That's the biggest question. But let me talk to you about the master class reasoning behind why I use that when I describe Kyrie Irving. Just moving without the ball once again, reading the defense, hand down, man down, the hand was up. Still quick into his shot. And then, look, coming from the weak side here, keeps the ball low, gets it away. And then the layup package, right? Over the sides of the defender with the left hand. And then this one is just absolutely ridiculous. Gets in, cuts off Cole Anthony, jumps into the defender to get his balance, right? To finish the ball with the right hand. Once again, the layup package, uh, how he shoots the ball, and the footwork in general. I wish I could show it to you in slow-mo all the plays. Yeah. It's, it's really mastery of his craft. I haven't seen a guard with that type type of footwork and that finishing ability at the rim. It's a thing of beauty. And, and, and look, there's been a lot of criticism of Kyrie Irving, and I endorse a lot of it. That said, obviously he's been working because you can't just step onto a basketball court, you know, 20 times a year and do that. Even when he's not, when we're not seeing it, he's obviously been working like crazy on his game out of the public eye. Greeny is so funny. People use this excuse of saying, well, he has fresh legs. And I, right. and I, and I get that. Okay. If I take a day off of basketball, do you know how off my rhythm feels? Mm. Do you know how the ball feels different? So for him to not play for a couple games, even if he is practicing, to come back and drop 60. But the precision, he shot 65% from the field, 67% from the three-point line. The precision is something that days off in the game, nobody can just come back and do it at that level that he's done. I want to bring up Ben Simmons in this conversation as well. We've yet to see him, of course, in any game action since June 20th of last year. After the team's shoot-around earlier this week, Steve Nash was asked about Simmons, and he said he has, quote, extremely high hopes that we will see him in the regular season. What do they need from him? In order for this Brooklyn team to win a championship, well, let's face it, that's the only thing that is really a success mm -hmm. when you have players of this caliber. What will they need from Ben Simmons? Well, especially if they face Toronto in the play -ins. I mean, they, they need him mm -hmm. because Kevin Durant would not be enough against the length and size of Scotty Barnes and other people, other defenders that Toronto has. So they would need him to be a big-time defender, and they need him to be a major facilitator. You know, people always say, oh, well, it's lack of shooting ability. Well, Ben also accounts for anywhere between 20 to 30 points a game with just his assist. So I think with, this, with the setup shooting of Seth Curry, guys like that that he will have on a roster, he can also facilitate a lot of points. They would need him to get by Toronto in that first round. Important to mention, for those who are not aware, that Toronto, even if the Nets are on the road where typically Kyrie can play. He's not eligible to play yes. in Canada. So we had this question on Countdown. I'm going to ask it to you. If the Nets could only have one or the other of these two things, which would give them a better chance to win a championship? Ben Simmons at whatever it is, a, full, a sort of full-time, or Kyrie full-time, one or the other, which one gives them the better chance to win a it's championship? It's not even a question. It's Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving. We just talked about two of the most skilled players maybe in the history of the game yeah. on the court together, Greeny, and Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. They don't even need Simmons. We didn't even they... talk about Kevin Durant last night. He had 20. Right. He had 20, and we're talking, ah, uh, Kyrie. But to be clear, they don't need Simmons. What, what you're saying, and I'm agreeing, is if Kyrie were eligible no. to play every game, which, again, is not our decision, and this is it's a whole other discussion, but if Kyrie and KD played every game, are the Nets the favorite to win the Eastern Conference? Yeah, they'd be yes. the favorite to actually they'd be close with Golden State to win the whole thing. Now, I'm not saying they couldn't use Ben Simmons because that's not the reality. I mean, that was a hypothetical question, mm -hmm. one or the other. Of course. But if you're forcing me to choose, I it's, totally agree. It, they call it 7-11 for a reason. <laughs> It's 7-Eleven. I mean, that's KD and Kyrie together. That's because they're always open? Yes. Because they're always the best. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.